Hello, yes, I am alive and I am home now. Surprise if you didn't already know, but I'm sure you did if you saw that live stream and I've been looking back through the footage. Uh, beard is gone. If you stick to the end of the video, you'll see why that is. I was going to start straight in time with when I was leaving the ship, but I wanted to come to you first with a little bit just to say apologies for how long this has taken me to get out to you. I know it's been many, many weeks now. Um, I think the main reason was when I got home, sort of... Uh, it sort of all hit me about just how much how exhausted really I was from the five months on board. So I was taking time to rest up, seeing family and friends, and I've been having a great time, a little bit of which you will see in the coming up video. So please enjoy it, and I'll see you at the end of those clips when I'll explain a little bit more. <laughs> Hi there guys, and welcome back to Same Ship, Different Day. Today's episode, I have to start with an apology. I am sorry I have been lying to you now for a couple of weeks. The date today is the 1st of July 2020, and it is my sign-off day. I'm about to head down to crew office to sign off. I'll be leaving the ship tomorrow afternoon on the 2nd of July and flying home. The reason I didn't tell you guys this is because I obviously wanted to keep it a surprise for my family so I can surprise them when I get home. Hopefully there'll be a nice surprise for them. I'll be arriving home on my sister's birthday as well, which is great. And I've managed to arrange for my girlfriend to fly into the UK on the same flight as me. And therefore we should both be arriving together. And I just can't wait for that. So I'm going to be taking you with me on this journey home. I hope you enjoy it. Once again, sorry for lying to you. And as always, my views and opinions that you see in this video don't reflect those of my employer, Princess Cruises, or the corporation that I work for. Um, so yeah, sit back and enjoy this journey home. Hopefully a few surprised faces along the way. Thanks for watching. Sorry if there's been a bit of a delay getting this out to you and on other videos due to this, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. Enjoy. Okay, it's the 2nd of July. It's time to head down and get off the ship. We're going to be going by boat. Uh, one of the two pilot boats are going to be coming out to us, taking baggage and uh, the 11 of us that are disembark disembarking, mostly bridge team actually. Um, so here we go, let's head down and get off the Coral Princess. Say goodbye. Let's go. to say goodbye to all the ones that are leaving today. Most of you, I saw you personally, but if I missed something uh, from all of us up here on the bridge, have a safe trip, a safe flight home. For the one departing today, the other one that will be just overnighting on the Caribbean, maximum two nights, some of you. Enjoy the hospitality of the Caribbean. Uh, they know you, you are coming. And then, uh, as well, you have a safe trip home when you fly. We're looking forward to see you sometime in the future uh, again, of course, uh, when they this ship or any other ship in our fleet. Let's try to remain uh, optimistic and uh, looking forward to a uh, brighter horizon for us, for all of us from this industry. Again, thank you very much for all your hard job. Some of you have done a very long uh, contract, we are aware. Thank you very much and have a, a good and well-deserved vacation. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>
So that was interesting. We made it, just about. Okay. Bye guys, all the best. Bye. That was an interesting boat journey. So we've just got off, we've done our immigration, now we're waiting for our transfer to the airport. So it'll be interesting to see the RGCS Resolute, or shit we were talking about before. It sold for $600,000 at auction. You can see the damage on the bow there from where it hit the uh, Coast Guard, the Venezuelan Coast Guard vessel. Just seems to see. Right, let's head to the airport. So we've got a one night stay here in Amsterdam tonight, me and Andy, for our flight to Manchester tomorrow. Video for immigration, collect our luggage, it's going to be on our way. It's like some kind of uh, trolley apocalypse here. Some empty trolleys around. hotel here in Schiphol Airport, Amsterdam, which means I can finally get rid of this mask, thank god. Nine and a half hours on a flight um, isn't the best with a mask on, to be honest, but to be fair the travel was fairly smooth. On the flight we got a meal at the start and then like a goodie pack and then limited service. Uh, the flight was really busy, quite full actually, um, so social distancing wasn't really very well practiced in my opinion and basically when we got out of the airport the shuttle was waiting for us so we jumped straight on the shuttle there 
and headed over to the hotel. When we got here, unfortunately, we had some issues. The vendor that the company used, even though the company had given them the correct dates, the vendor had booked the wrong dates for the hotel, so they'd actually booked us in for yesterday. So I had to wait and uh, speak to the company and get that sorted out. Um, now we're in there, checked in. We're gonna go get a bit of grub and maybe catch some sleep, catch up on some sleep as we had an overnight flight. And then tomorrow morning, we we'll be heading to the airport again for a Manchester flight. Flights at 10.05 a.m. Very exciting because my girlfriend should be flying in tomorrow morning as well and we'll be getting the same flight, should there not be any issues, uh, from Amsterdam to Manchester tomorrow. And I'll be heading home to surprise the family, which I can't wait for. I'll take you along all the way and um, I'll see you in Amsterdam. Good morning, so we're back in Amsterdam, back at the airport. Uh, we didn't actually go into the city yesterday, we were both pretty knackered and after that afternoon nap turned into more of a four hour sleep, we decided not to bother. So we just had a couple of beers at the hotel and then did that conference call. And then we had an early night and now we're back at the airport. So far so good, just checked in, now heading through security. And I'll see you on the other side. So that's it, through security here at Amsterdam, definitely probably the best security that you have in any airport around the world. They don't take anything out of your bag. You can bring water through even. They've got 3D scanners which allow you to pretty much carry anything through in a bag. You don't take anything out. And they scan it all and you sort it in and out in about two minutes. So I absolutely love Amsterdam security. Now we're here we can do a bit of shopping. I think Andy wants a new phone. Waiting now here at gate D3. I'm gonna get Ashley hopefully as soon as she gets off the plane. So I'll record the reunion for you. I have my cameraman waiting over here. Interesting to see the airport, it's so quiet at the moment. Most of these gates are completely empty, as you can see behind me. Anyway, we're waiting. The plane should come in here in a matter of minutes, in the next 10 minutes, and then I'll get to see her as soon as she gets off the plane. Here she comes. She's arrived, she's here, so uh, now we're going to get in position to try and surprise her. She knows I'm coming. Smile, give us a wave. Just connection, this is a new day. Okay guys, it's Andy here. It's my time to shine on the vlog. We're here patiently waiting for the Starcross lovers to reunite after how many months apart? Five? She left in April. That's not five, that's three. Oh, oh! Uh, young love for you, Juma. Huh? <laughs> so yeah, can you get uh, any more awkward stood here, third wheeling, recording, being that guy? Has he seen the beard for the first time as well? <laughs> okay, so we're back reunited and now gonna board a little city hopper to Manchester. There she is. <laughs> and then number two. We made it through. We're here in England. 
Manchester. Just waiting for my mate to come pick us up now. Should be in the next 30 minutes or so, and then he's going to take me home. Hopefully, the family will be there. If they're not at home, then they might be in the uh, holiday chalet. So we're going to check home first. If they're not there, then I'll have to try and get a key and let myself in, and then drive myself over to the chalet. We will see. Um, but yeah, he'll be arriving shortly. We'll be going with him all the way home to surprise the family. So we uh, got picked up at the airport. Kieran came in. My chauffeur picked us up in a good favour. It was pretty tricky actually because most of the airport was pretty closed. But um, we managed to get out and now we've got a three hour car journey back to Louth uh, to surprise the family. Hopefully everyone's going to be home. Or at least someone is. And we'll see how it goes. I'll take you with me. See you there. Mass cruise later. All going to plan. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know if we should move. <laughs> so I think that was a pretty successful surprise, that was number one. We just had a quick shower and change and now it's on to number two. It's my sister's birthday today and she's not actually home, she's in a holiday home about 25 minutes drive away so we're going to go surprise her there. Should be a nice drive and a nice excuse to drive my car again as well. So I think those surprises went pretty well, don't you? Uh, no one had any idea that I was coming home. I was a little bit worried that mum and dad might have figured it out somehow. Uh, but no one had any idea and Lottie certainly didn't either. That's my sister and we had a great day seeing all her friends. It was nice to have her friends there when I actually got there, which made it more of a, more of a scene and uh, more good footage for you guys to watch. Um, surprise me, it was great. And I spent the next few days catching up with several members of the family that I hadn't seen. Uh, all at a distance of course, uh, lots of uh, outside get-togethers and things like that but it's been on hell of a journey uh, overall the five months on board then it was a very strange and surreal journey home that we had obviously wearing masks throughout and many hours on a flight it wasn't very enjoyable that is the new world that we live in at the moment with regards to the channel hopefully we're going to move forward from here I do still have loads of content as I was saying before um, bridge tours, engine room tours, that kind of thing. So do stick with me if you haven't subscribed and for some reason this is the first video you're watching, then I hope you enjoyed it. 
And if you do subscribe now, you'll get notifications when I bring those videos along to you. Uh, I'm not going to rush ahead and try and get out and promise you these big long videos in depth uh, footage and things because I know that's going to take some time. So what I might do is I throw a few in between videos that you look at the cruise news, lots of big announcements, especially from Princess and other cruise companies. MSC are back sailing when they had some issues this week. Uh, Princess have now announced the delay to the 15th of December. So I think another cruise news video will uh, work well for those things. Um, but I'm home. I'm good. I'm enjoying life at home. I've recently bought a new car and I've been doing a little bit of touring myself uh, with my girlfriend. Ashley is also with me, of course, as you just saw. Um, it's been a great time and hopefully I can continue to bring you all this sort of stuff mainly still about cruise ships uh, to you guys. The next live stream actually I've organised for a good friend of mine, Timothy. He's going to be on it with me. Uh, Timothy was on the uh, TV show The Cruise. If you didn't see it on ITV1, or you Brits probably did watch it. It's all about Princess Cruises and the crew. Uh, he's at home at the moment in Canada, so we're going to be talking to him live, hopefully, if it all, it all works out. And lots of big news, actually. I've just been asked to be on a documentary all about my times during this year, uh, especially through the COVID uh, scenario and becoming viral, as they put it. Um, so I am going to be in a German film production it might be going over to the states actually but i will be giving you more details on that as it starts to happen at the moment all i've done is arrange with them to use some of my footage which i've already made so that's quite exciting so lots has been happening hopefully you missed these videos for me i'm sorry if you did and i'm sorry it's taken me so long to get back to you but as i said and as you saw it's been nice to get home and relax and enjoy my time with my family and with my girlfriend after three months apart. Um, hopefully I'll be able to meet her soon as well. So I think that's it from me. If you did stick through to the end, you're about to see the beard get chopped off and the reasons why. So please do enjoy that. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one, even though I'm about to say that again. So the time has come, three months with this beard. I stopped growing it the day that Ashley left and she uh, went home on April, April 7th. Um, and she doesn't like it, the family doesn't like it. So I think it's time to say goodbye, or at least trim it down a bit. Let's see how it goes. And there we go guys, what do you think? This little test who really stays to the very end of the video. If you did stay to the end and you do like the new look, which is really the old look, let me know. Comment below. Like it if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching and take care. Mm -hmm.